Right, tier formation stages. We are on the way, halfway to mammals. Let's take a look. We have 10 plant rockets, 7 animal spreader rockets, though we're not multiplying much on the case of those. We never really did much on the side of oxygen and stuff, did we? I really ramped up on the plants, didn't I? Huh. Oh well. Um, cool. Oxygen, though, is at 23 million ppq per second, whereas biomass specifically is at 29 million total, of which a lot of that is plants. But if we can send up a bunch more oxygen rockets, I think that's going to help us ramp big time. So let's remind ourselves what we need for those. Oxygen multiplier. Okay, so that's the one that's bacteria sample, mutagen, and tree bark. We have a ton of tree bark, don't we? I'm fairly sure. Yeah, because we used up a lot of our lerma seeds, that's right. Bacteria sample and mutagen are just so easy to make. How many... Uh, that's right, my big aquarium. I love that. <laughs> How many rocket engines do we still have, or do we need to make some? Probably need to make some more now, eh? I've got to remind myself where everything is again now. <laughs> where is everything living? I've got so many other seeds. Like, I just... I need to plant so many more, like, plant spreaders down. Just, like, flower spreaders. For the sake of getting more stuff. You have so much tree bark. And a ton of fertilizer. So, for each tier 2 tree spreader, we need two of these not tree not tree spreader uh, flower spreader i think i worked out that the tree spreader was just better than the flower spreader didn't i that's that's the other problem uh, that's fine i've got them to use up anyway one two three four one two three four and that is what i need for that oh my rockets come back we have so many mutagen and bacteria samples we can immediately just send off all of those rockets that we wanted quite frankly that's a lot of honey all right I guess it's slowly getting processed now. The beans are almost grown. Oh yeah, because it, it's harvested that one. The farm outside must also... There we go, that one's gone. Huh, never actually seen it in action before. That's cool. And let's just spread around here a little bit more, shall we? Because I think that will look nice. We'll just have a lovely field of white flowers. Six iridium rods. That's this one. Ah, I don't have enough of these. I can only make three for now, but that's fine. We'll just deconstruct one of those. Hello, frog. <laughs> so we can make three of them for now. Hey, craft a thousand items. Nice. I believe that is like per save as well. So that's a thousand items just in the save alone, I think. Where was tree bark again? There we go. All right, seed spreader. I want to just keep making lots of them and just have them all combined together and see where they go. But we'll be moderately responsible, shall we? Fire off. Next. We can start the launch before it actually materializes, though. And then it's just a case of once we see the tail plane pass our view, then we can make the next one without a clip. And immediately launch it off. Alright, let's go deconstruct a uranium rod, shall we? Pop it in the box, push the button, and we get all of this stuff. I really wish it went into a container, so then we could just, you know, pick it up properly instead of it just firing off. Hopefully none of it's just clipped randomly into anywhere. Uh, back to here, one, two, three. Good. And we should be able to send off three more. And then this will have boosted our oxygen up to like almost 10,000 percent I think once again wait for the tail plane originally I didn't want to resort to this sort of thing as much um, I was thinking oh, I'll make one of each rocket maybe a couple or something especially the ones that brought down asteroids for us then it was a case of okay I want those so I can get the uranium and the iridium I should have gone harder on those earlier, quite frankly. Uh, but now it's just a case of, well, we have a long way to go to get to 5 TTI. We're not even at 1 yet. So we do need to ramp. And that means rocket abuse. 
because now our oxygen is up to 93 million ppq per second that's a bit more like yeah 8000 percent noise the bitrate i know is just going to be terrible <laughs> i apologize but i can't do anything about that uh that's just a grass spreader i've just got a token grass spreader let's pop back through the portal because i can't remember what i was doing did i need something from here or was I finished here now? I think I might be finished from here now. Other than maybe needing a uh, fusion core. But I'm not sure I care about that, to be honest. I don't want to burn materials on the off chance of finding something useful. I don't know, it's tough. I guess I can see what I've got. Because I don't have any on me. I've got an explosive, but I don't have any fusion cores. I don't have any pulsar quartz left, looks like. That's a bit of a problem. That's a lot of a problem, in fact. Hmm. I can make it. Uh, Biolab. What do I need to make that? Uranium, methane, just basic materials, essentially. Things I gather from the environment. If I really wanted to, I could just have uh, some more resource gathers, gatherers and drones and just bring all of those things to me. I guess that's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> oh no, we're playing the game the way we're supposed to. Whatever will I do? Okay, I've got my tier one over here for sulfur. That's fine. It can stay there for now. Uh, that could be worth upgrading to a tier 3 though, so I don't get all of the excess. I'm not mining osmium. Was I mining zeolite? I was mining zeolite. Here we go. And I have a bunch of it, in fact. Let's keep going for now. Uh, Frox, do you have any eggs for me? You do. Ooh, and they're special ones. Good. That's the things. I want to stop by those and see if they're unique ones instead of just the generic ones. Um, I should look around a little bit more as well for other crates. Because I don't think I came up this part. Now that oxygen is unlimited, I can explore a lot more freely and see whether or not there's... Look, I want to get up here if I can. <laughs> don't know how much of this is out of bounds technically. Oh, well, okay, it just disappeared, so I think it's out of bounds. <laughs> Alright, I think it was out of bounds. But there's a crate here. That's rather low-tech stuff. Maybe I have been there before. Maybe I looked in it already. 179 terror tokens. That was quick. Hey, golden chest. Nice. Okay. Perched up on this outcropping here. That's interesting. <laughs> Jetpack. Well, that's appropriate given where you have to come to get to it. Nice. I'll take that. Uh, floating lava. Cool. Well, we're almost full already, uh, so <laughs> let's at least go and grab an obsidian, because that's what we actually came up here for. Oh, another crate that I forgot about. Oh, yep, and it's one that I have... Ah, rocket engines, excellent. It's one I haven't even plundered yet. Leaving crates until later, like the final stages of the game, is definitely a good idea. Because you get better stuff based on your TI, it seems. But I was pretty exhaustive about exploring early on, so I don't actually have that much that I haven't already been and seen and interacted with. So it's already set their inventory. Let's just flip around over the lava while I can barely see a thing, because that's safe. Okay. We're now full. I can't remember if I left a teleporter at that wreck, but I know I left one in the oasis. Boom. Where's the other one that hasn't been named yet? <laughs> Where's the optimizer? I need to get the fuse from inside as well. But for now, ooh, ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I was I was full of things. Let's just drop those seeds so I can pick up the explosive powder because I need that to make this. And then I can put that back in. And let's just pick everything up again, shall we? No littering. Seed spreader rocket launch. Wait. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. 
The insect spreader just uses the raw larvae too. That's right. I should definitely be using drones more to my advantage as well. I accept that, but at the same time, I reject that because I don't want to. <laughs> right, another couple of amphibian things wouldn't go amiss. Let's chuck them over here. Ah, common larvae, that's right. These. And they will be the same species. 300%. Yeah, not amazing, but ah, cute. I'll take it. And then let's see if I can remember what it is for the pulsar quartz. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then osmium. Six. And then I think it was. Oh, it was raw iridium, I think. And. Whatchamacallit? Uranium. Let's do that first. I don't know if I have enough space for. Oh, I might have just enough space, looks like. Hydration level low, I can't actually. I don't have anything on me to drink. Six of those. And that's so I can make two of them, ideally. Ah, oh, I need more obsidian again. Ooh, okay. There we are. This is where you need to just, like, automate your whole setup. You just make a ton of drones, get back, you dump everything into a locker, and then you have drones take it like it gives everything and then you have certain lockers demanding certain things that's basically how you have to, to go about it I think wait for it wait for it and boom one TTI I don't think that unlocks anything special <laughs> and now we don't get to see the number tick nearly as quickly I came here for obsidian <laughs> I have ended up somewhere completely different. Oops. <laughs> this is the top of the sandfall area again, isn't it? It's like the archer's zone. Yeah, well, if I get to one of my other bases, I can teleport, can't I? Oh, some tier tokens, sure. And I think I will want to teleport back to my base to drop some stuff off. <laughs> this is indeed the crates that I have not been to yet. There's my little base down by the sandfall area again. I was expecting this to just legitimately turn into a waterfall at some point. I thought that this was going to get flooded out and then it would just be a waterfall down there. But uh, apparently not. Was there like a wreck in the hillside somewhere? One of the explosive cave wrecks that I had a little base by including a teleporter? If so, I cannot remember where it was. This is new. This didn't used to be behind the waterfall. This is new. Okay. Uh, let's get right in the middle here. And we actually have an explosive on us. Get back to a respectful distance. Boom. Ah, I need another one. Oh, that's, that's really in there, isn't it? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, hello. Ah, this is one of the, yeah, one of the altars. So I have a me had a message from one of the, that was the last biome I went to. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> the dangers of putting bases down before the world is fully formed. Oh, okay, there's stuff in here. I need to remember, I'm actually going to stick that away. I need to remember to come back to this base. More rocket engines. Imagine the oxygen production if I'd actually used all of those seeds properly. I really should have gone much harder on the food growers. I still could. <laughs> you know, if I really needed to, I still could. I feel there must be more happening to this biome at some point as well. Because uh, it feels like there should be more to it. More frogs? Generic. Ah, another warden thing. Well, I don't have room anymore. Um, I could almost place down an amphibian thing right now to get the frog eggs out of my inventory though. They don't need to go anywhere special. Let's come in here. I can also put some stuff in one of these lockers. Everything I have on me is stuff that I want to take back is the problem. Uh, except for the circuits. I don't care about that. And now I need a common larvae. Thank you. And now I should be able to place down one of these because I picked up some fertilizer and then I can put you in there. You look 
disgusting. But that's fine. And I can pick up another warden key. I think I need nine warden keys for that particular ending. Let's just go back to base the old-fashioned way, shall we? And then I think we want to take the teleporter to the one that I'm not sure about where it is, so that I learn where it is. It was like minus something. Oh, there was that wreck back there too that I cleared partially, but not completely. I have so much unfinished business, but thankfully my TI is ticking up the whole while. But it's taken a long time to get to just 0 0.17 TI. We really need to ramp more. Uh, let's get rid of those. Fill up on those. Excellent. And we'll send off another couple, because we've got the rocket engines to do it. The fact that the plant spreaders are 1250 instead of just 1000 means that that is arguably good, but the numbers for the things that produce oxygen, like tree spreader, 8500 oxygen per second, which gets multiplied by a thousand. Now, where's this one? Oh, it's the underwater bit. Ah. Right, that's right. Ah, that's kind of useless and an absolute waste. Can I deconstruct you? I can deconstruct the tier 3 either. Okay. What's the best way to get out of here then again? I guess we go... Let's go home, get oxygen again. There we go. Fill up. Let's go back here. And we want to deconstruct that. Because that is a waste of space currently. And then we just go our direction. And hope it's a good direction. No, that's the wrong way. I have two oxygen canisters on me, so I'm good. But yeah, that's the wrong way. There's nothing more for us in the biome area there, I don't think. We still need to find a few more of those keys. We have two. We need nine. I don't know how many there are. We've already used a bunch on unlocking the cave to get to the golden butterflies. Oh, hello. Ooh, uh, production multiplier is not very useful. Obsidian though, that's another one. We can make two teleporters if we wanted to. Let's grab the fertilizer out, why not? That honestly feels more useful. Animal shelter, okay, we have now reached the mammals level. Animal shelter, animal feeder. Now we can start to make things with the various genetic traits that we have been picking up. Now, I'm going to do so because it's part of the game and why wouldn't I, but it does feel like a little bit of a waste of time to an extent because I feel like you don't generate nearly as many animals as you do just things like our oxygen that we've already got ticking up. So I don't think it's going to contribute to our TI that much. Let's go home. The archer's teleporter is probably not that useful either, quite frankly. What was it for another trade rocket again? I'm just going to make another one, slap it down over here as well, so that way we can double up on getting rid of like our fabric and stuff. In fact, this, you are going to demand fabric. You supply fabric. It's not the most optimal setup, given how far I have to go to get to it, but... And then it's a case of the rocket should be set up to just launch automatically. Um, enabled. So it just fills up, and then it just fires off. Should we make another drone as well? Just because they're getting busy. Rocket engine, circuit board, and iron. I have a spare rocket engine. Circuit board, iron around the corner. Rocket engine was in which? <laughs> this one. There we go. Let's make another drone. Drone station. I have four drones total. 